Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Yeah, the Ether chart um, has been a little bit more bearish than Bitcoin's. Um, while Bitcoin is pushing against resistance very aggressively, but not broken, yeah, but just pushing against it, Ether hasn't really done much, okay? So it's just really um, a potential five wave move to the downside here into the Wednesday lows. And then now maybe as a flat structure, this wave two, which might still extend a little higher, 1726 remains critical resistance and as long as the price stays below 1726 a move to the downside is favored yeah in a wave three which would then be followed by a wave four and a last wave five to the downside and however i haven't got a top in place for wave two so i haven't got that um, rally finish necessarily so it can still stretch a little higher quite comfortably maybe maybe over the weekend have to say that the structure though is a little unclear, but where it was quite unclear um, yesterday, I think or earlier today, it's becoming a little bit clearer with this sort of flat structure that's emerging. Whereas now the Bitcoin Bitcoin mess is really um, is really a little unclear on the lower time frames. We're talking here about choppy price action on one hour charts. I mean, looking at the bigger time frames, nothing has changed at all for many many weeks. So this is really just looking at the lower time frames and to know when we get a breakout to the upside and a likely breakout point for me is 1726. So below 1726, the yellow pathway is preferred. That's the short term bearish wave count. We're currently in a wave two of wave C and this five wave move to the downside could complete the entire correction that started, I think it was in April, yeah, which started up here in April which was about uh, $2,130. And if we see a break above 1726, then Ether has a good chance to move up in five waves. One, two, three, four, five. That can take us into the $1,900 region. Um, that wave count also hasn't changed, but it is quite a deep wave four now. So yeah, Ether is very weak though, but if we get a break above 1726, then we have to prepare for a move up into the $1,900 region. We would then be able to say, okay, it's likely a five wave move up and we can add a support area for a pullback, okay, which would be very bullish if this support is holding, but it could just be a high B wave, okay, so it could just be a larger corrective rally, A, B, C, even if we get five waves up. So it will literally, you know, the question if we are bullish or bearish and if a low has been established on the 11th of September, a lasting low, that question will only be solved in this support area after we have five waves up. If we don't even get five waves up, then the, the focus needs to be on the downside anyway. Yeah, that's just a quick update. One of the more boring charts today. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.